just as an explanation of what that last video was about um, that was to create this hole so that the new cleat can sit in so, and just to prove it beautiful yeah and this jig's amazing as well this uh, shows you where to position each of the uh, we've got side one treble leg one back body two base body three it tells you where to put the stoppers so that uh, you can position it on there lock it up solid and uh, it'll drill the hole in the leg in precisely the right place or the body or, or the body to match to get the two pairs to match and uh, for anyone looking in there going well they've not got it central the, uh, the original hole where the screwing leg used to be is, uh, is off center from the top that's because the cleats lock in from there to sideways so uh, you have to slightly offset it in order to get the legs to be ex in exactly the right place so, so uh, there we go and uh, there we go around here i haven't filmed this yet about the uh, the inserts in there as well for the, new, for the new casters yeah the new casters have got uh, inserts in shall I pause yep. so we just took the uh, the bo bottom of the the leg off so you can have a look at what's going on inside what, and, we've, what uh, we've had to do was have to open that hole out to take this like that which meant this, this wall would become very thin and unstable so to stabilize it we've had some stainless steel sleeves made which fit over an or a, a good tight fit and then we have to rebore this to compensate for the cleat uh, for the sleeve so that goes over there like that and then that which holds the caster now fits over the top of there and the three screws hold that in place and hold this in place yeah so now that leg is uh... and the recess there is for the plate that's on top of the caster which screws into that thread down there so, so that you don't see the top of the mm. cleat and you can go downstairs and video the one downstairs now can't you just done actually yeah that's a good idea i'll pause again and go downstairs because it's uh... and then you can show where how it how it all fits together yeah it's uh i didn't really video much about the uh the process of doing this while it was actually being done but uh, now it's probably better to do it now that it's finished anyway because you can see the end product whereas it's uh, yeah. all a bit in the air so yeah i'll go down and have a look at the the one downstairs well, this, this this is going to this has another boss that goes on there like so and then that was the original screw thread what we're going to do stabilize all this lot is we're going to glue all this together mm. and go on part we've already just taken the cleat out so now that will go on there but when we've finished it that will actually be screwed up really tight and glued so mm. it'll clamp itself and now you can see it's, it's solid and where the old lay actually came to so we've not compromised that and then that fits in, in there like so and then that will go onto the piano and as it's tightened up lock up solid mm. and then we'll have the whole surface area mated up to the bottom of the piano which will make the, the whole leg a lot more stable Mm. Whereas before it was just that surface against that surface. Yeah. So now you've got a much larger surface, surface area. Surface mm. area. And uh, being as it's going into the concert hall and uh, it's going to get shifted about on a semi regular basis, that'll keep it nice and solid. Right. So, uh, so there you go, that's. Uh, 
it's all screwed back together again that's what the leg will look like and uh, thought it'd be worth going through that for definite because otherwise when it's back on the piano and all cleated up nobody's ever going to know that that was not original you can't see anything's been done which is one of the reasons we went to such lengths to to do it in that way because now it actually looks exactly as it did when it was uh, when it was new well it will do when it's well, all stained well, these, and uh... these are all the original parts this this part of the molding all around here is original that's original that's original and that's original so yeah. it all looks exactly as it was when it was made in 1903 mm. uh, all we've got to do now is do the horrible job of color matching those parts yeah <laughs> make, make it all, which you'll be able to see. You can go and see the piano mm. when it's finished. Yep. Now we're going to do the the base leg. So we've got side two, and it says base leg. You need numbers four. So one in there, one in there, one in there. And push that up. So it's a bit solid and then we'll lock it in with a screw just there. And then the process is repeated. The boring process. <laughs> Alright, something else I haven't quite kept up to date with is the uh, the progression of the lyre. Now that's the one that we've been converting to a uh, three pedal system. And uh, just so that you've got an idea of how it looked before, this is one off of a, an, another Beckstein that's uh, a two system and if we have a look under there that is how the system looks originally with the um, two, two pedals with, with the two pedal and, and sections the pivoted on dowels that went in, in in there so that they would pivot on these two dowels right. they stay in there yeah and now this is the modern system we've had to modify the inside of the lyre so it now looks like this uh, now you've got uh, all that uh, gubbins and everything going off in there. Where's the pedals? Pedals are here. I've put the pedals underneath it, look. So there are your new pedals for it. And these are the pedals, and they fit like so. So now we've got a three pedal uh, Beckstein and uh, very rare yeah <laughs> especially of this age especially from 1903 yeah <laughs> and uh, something else that's come out really well is the replacement veneer as well because this this all had to come off because obviously if you look at the old stuff there's no way that we'd, we would have been able to uh, slice off the spaces for three and still use the old veneer not a chance so that has come across really well. I mean, look at the the colour is already almost perfect, and we, uh, you know, <laughs> it is rosewood the same, and it's all feathered in nicely. So, uh, tiny bit of colour matching, and uh, that will not you'll not be able to tell any difference in colour on that. And uh, if Beckstein managed to get these bits looking the same as those bits, I'm sure we could get that to look the same as that. Not a, not a problem. So, there we go, and that's the progression of the uh, the liar so far as well. And the three, three rods. And the three rods going down. Oh. Not bad, eh? Still got a little bit of uh, stuff to do on there. Yep. That's got that has been caused by the, the stool having one of the. Uh, uh, it had one of the leather tops to it, and it, it's the studs from the the leather top bashing into there when someone's pushed the stool under the piano. That's why it explains why the different heights as well. But uh, so that'll disappear. There you go. Lovely. So. I think that's everything up to date now. Oh, and uh, all that uh, excitement going off. I didn't uh, keep in touch with my dampers as well. I'm just putting the wires on now. I've finished doing the, uh, the flats, as I mentioned earlier. Nice and uh, flat, including the front. And they're all uh, looking good underneath. 
So what I'm doing now is I'm just putting these uh, the uh, the damper wires on, which is just in the clamp, tighten it up, and uh, shoves it into the hole. So the guide holes have been done. Yeah. And the, the dampers actually sit on the strings like so. Yeah. So you can actually see the what that uh, the damper guides are for now. I was uh, showing them uh, a few videos ago, but uh, now you can actually see what their their job is. So yes, it's coming along. <laughs>